Karn the Betrayer and his berserkers roared into the throne room, decimating the Slanesh cultists. Here was a Slanesh cult leader, pale as the moon, strapped in tight dark leather revealing obscene and lewd tattoos. The leader's voice was indulgent and soothed Karn's mind. He felt bodily pleasure, the warmth of childhood and exotic food. Karn resisted, but his men could not. They attacked Karn, wishing to please Slanesh. Karn's axe Gorchild fended them off, drinking their souls. With his last ounce of rage, Karn sliced the leader's head in two. But then the throne itself called to Karn. He saw the most beautifully evil woman, hair like the sun's rays, blue eyes with two fangs protruding from her gentle red lips. Karn's heart skipped. Her voice caressed his soul like a mother would a babe. He seated Karn and be my master. Karn closed his eyes. He could rest for just a moment, then leave. But then he remembered his comrades. He remembered those he betrayed. He remembered his battles. He raised Gorchild and smashed the throne. In his savage heart, there was only war.